Hi, if you wish to make a 2D game, here I have a tutorial for you. I'm here on Xcode and uh, I will create a new Xcode project here. Single view app. Next, there's also uh, another way to create a project of making a game and that is to use this template the, the game template but i think it would be more original to begin with the single view app so next and i will give it a name sprite project the language is swift next yes and I will create this created and sprite project. This is the familiar window. You only need to make sure that your deployment target is compatible with your device. We have these files and windows. Uh, view con view controller swift. Click on view controller and remove it. Press delete. Move to trash. Next, we will need to go to yeah, it's 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 gone. It's no longer here. Uh, we we'll, we would need to go to main storyboard. Click on main storyboard and uh, select this view and delete it. Delete the view. Right now, we will create. A new uh, view controller. Go to the right side of the screen here, the library, the object library here, and view controller. We'll just uh, select and drag. I mean, click and drag. Yeah. First of all, you need to click on this uh, yellow circle. And go to the attributes inspector and down to this box. Check it is initial view controller of the arrow. So, this is the beginning of the app or game. We will need to uh, create a file for, the, for this new view controller. Go to file, new. And file again and a cocoa touch here and create a file. Well, we would need to give it a name. Let's use game view controller. Well, you can you can give it any name. I just gave it game view controller, and you could use other names. And uh, well, this and th this one, the game view controller, is a subclass of UI view controller. There are other uh, classes, but you would need to uh, choose UI view controller next. Yes, and create. Okay. We now have this file log game view control dot swift. Now you would need to go to this view uh, view well and the identity inspector we see UI view I, we're not going to use it as a UI view. Uh we're going to use it as uh, a uh, SK view, which is Sprite Kit view. This lock, this one. So SK view, select. You need to make sure that this is happening. Uh, otherwise, the project will not be working at all. Uh, so SK view. So next, uh, we will need to create uh, two new. 
files. Go to File, and New, and File. This time not Coco Touch class. So scroll down and select Sprite Kit Scene. This one. Next. Okay. We need to give it a name. I think this name is going to be okay. My scene. I mean, you can give any name and create. Yes. We have it now. My scene dot SKS. I mean, this is this is the file um, I just created. And if you look at this scene, well, it's included in the project. Also, you here have uh, four uh, inspectors. If you click on this little circle. There are four smaller circles on it. You here see uh, color. So let me click on that and select black. Okay, so this is now black. And uh, this one, which is custom class, if I go to this, uh, well, We'll have to give it a name, uh, and that name would be this my scene. My scene, uh, this is the sprite kit scene, and my sprite kit scene is my scene. I mean, that is the name I, I, I gave it. So I would put my scene, but you would need to follow uh, these exactly the way I and return. Okay, yeah, I think we're done with this. And if you look at uh, this library, you have a color sprite, in the light and emitter, label, and other objects. I will all talk about them later. Uh, you would need to create, like I said, another file. So I'll go to File, New. This is the scene. And you need a file for actions. Uh, and here, file. Yeah, again, scroll down to here, sprite kit action. So you need uh, objects, sprites, nodes, whatever. And you would need actions, like you want to make them do things in relation to each other. I mean, that is the uh, logic behind any game actually. Next. And here, my actions. Let's keep this name. You could give any name. And create. Yes, we now have it. Look, my actions here. Dot SKS and my scene dot SKS. Okay, and, and you will need to create uh, another file that would be for my scene. Well, look here. Click on my scene and file and uh, file again and Coco Touch. This is Coco Touch class. Next, my scene. Uh, scene. Yeah, and this is a subclass of S. K C. We'll look, there are other um, options, and uh, when you scroll down this list to S, and you, you will find it next. Yes, we here have it. My scene and the uh, S K scene. Yeah, well, we here have an error. I will, will, I will fix it uh, momentarily. But before before this, we would need to go to Game View Controller and.
make changes, adding codes, lock already uh, the UI kit is important and uh, we need to import also uh, sprite kit and uh, import game play kit it's here yeah game play kit it's it's here uh, let's go to my scene dot swift here my scene dot swift and i'll just delete this import sprite kit uh, sprite kit we have it and import a game play kit yeah yes now it's without any errors uh, Okay, I'm, I think we would need to just do a quick review. Uh, look, we chose uh, the single view app and we uh, created this game view controller.swift and my scene.sks uh, uh, and this one, my actions, and also my scene.swift. So, the philosophy behind all this is that you have a UI view con controller or here a UI view controller and then you would need to import sprites nodes and actions okay and scenes so on this uh, UI view controller we will uh, put my scene my scene this my scene and uh, the actions my actions so um yes we have uh, we're on game view controllers dot swift and we need to uh, write our codes uh, well our write function we did load we need to load uh, the uh, view the sk view and next uh, sk scene actually uh, so we would begin with if let view equal self view as we need an exclamation mark here sk view is here yes uh, this this would mean what sk view and now we need a curly in a bracket uh, now let let's load the scene if let scene this case scene this is here what is what is the sk scene what well, the sk scene is, is here look my scene my scene uh, file named colon and that is my scene yeah uh, let's put something here and after this we need scene 
scale mode. Aspect fill. Yeah, I think aspect fill. But this, this would mean that my scene, my scene uh, dot SKS, uh, my sprites, whatever I have on that scene are, are going to fill the, the uh, screen like aspect with that. That would mean that. And uh, next we need another one view. Uh, present scene present scene yeah this is here oh we only need scene yes yeah no errors it makes sense after the walk well, I mean the uh, the curly bracket is closed after this let me make space here uh, we would need to put view uh, ignore ignore siblings yes we really have sibling orders yeah and this is true this is a boolean value indicating that i mean the rendering wouldn't be dependent on uh, uh, previous uh, sprites or previous objects to be rendered first this and uh, then we would need to indicators view shows f p s yeah v frames and this would be true Uh, and another one view shows node count node count and this is also true mm. yes the, I think, I think it's about it. And uh, our game view controller dot Swift now looks good.